John Pomeroy has almost never seen the Rocky Mountain snowpack this low. Pomeroy has spent much of his career as a hydrologist in Western Canada. He says this year's early heat is melting the little snow there is six weeks ahead of normal, and that's impacting prairie waterways. The stream flows are rising right now and uh, look like they could easily peak in, in May um, rather than the normal peak, which is in late June to even into July. Alberta and Saskatchewan rely on that water from melting snow in the Rockies to replenish lakes and rivers in the summer. So a lack of water means little relief for those who depend on it for their drinking water supply and irrigation. Low snowpack also means less moisture in the ground to prevent forest fires. As a result, the fire severity index for May and June on the prairies is forecast in the high to extreme rating, something that worries this forest fire researcher. There's been a lot of fire in, in Alberta already this year. Not a good sign, um, especially since we know the warmer and drier and hotter weather is coming. You know, we're just in early spring, um, so that's a concern. All of this as Canada transitions out of a third consecutive year of La Nina, a weather pattern that causes colder and snowier conditions on the prairies, especially later in winter and early in spring. The pattern is now flipping to El Nino, which has the opposite effect and usually brings warmer, drier winters here. Meteorologists predict it will fully develop by the fall, leaving us with an in-between phase this summer. And that's already made long-term forecasting a challenge. With April, we kind of have a little bit of a hangover um, from La Nina. There was still some colder air sitting off the coast of British Columbia. The water temperatures were still really cold. Uh, but all of a sudden, it, there, somebody switched a switch on and we went um, almost immediately into uh, hot, dry weather. Environment and Climate Change Canada says there's a good chance that May, June and July will be warmer than normal across the country. And while there's no real trend developing for precipitation, things starting off this dry means there's not much moisture on the ground to evaporate and turn back into rain. The experts we spoke to say this lack of snowpack and the severity of forest fires is a sign of climate change, and forecasters are concerned climate change could make the upcoming El Nino event even more pronounced, leaving little hope for cooler temperatures and more moisture. Ethan Williams, CBC News, Regina.